Am I the asshole? For abandoning my daughter on vacation? My wife and I have always dreamed of celebrating our 40th anniversary with a luxurious vacation. Just the two of us, reliving the romance of our early years. We had it all planned out for years now and were excited beyond words. Enter our adult daughter Jane. Jane and her husband got wind of our plans and promptly invited themselves and their two children 9F, 5M along. I originally put my foot down and told them this trip was just for us which upset her some. But my wife has a hard time saying no to Jane, as she is the youngest of our children and our only daughter, and she didn't want to hurt her feelings, so she reluctantly agreed to let them join. I wasn't thrilled about it at the time, but I wanted to make my family happy, and I knew my wife was also okay with the idea of a family trip even if she was heartbroken we wouldn't get our romantic trip. We went along with it. The place we were originally going was not child friendly so we changed course and decided on an all inclusive family friendly resort. We paid for the resort and our grandchildren's plane tickets. Jane and her husband only had to pay for their own airfare. Here's where things get complicated. As the vacation got closer, I started having a change of heart. I realized that our 40th anniversary was a once in a lifetime milestone, and I wanted to honor it in a way that was true to our original plans. My wife and I might not be able to afford a trip like this again for quite some time and it's something we always wanted to do. So, without consulting anyone, I switched our tickets last minute to go to the romantic destination that my wife and I had originally planned for. I did not tell Jane or her husband. I didn't even tell my wife until the day before our flight left, which was a day before Jane's flight left for their vacation. It wasn't an easy decision and I feel guilty about it. But I wanted our 40th anniversary to be the special, intimate celebration we had always hoped for. We called Jane after we landed to tell her and she was extremely upset to say the least. She seemed of the idea that we were going to look after our grandkids so she and her husband could have alone time and now that I abandoned her they would have to do it all themselves. I hung up on them when my son-in-law started shouting and my wife and I enjoyed the rest of our trip. They came back the same day we did but have not answered any of our texts and Jane seems to be ignoring me. My wife told me she vastly preferred our trip to the family trip we would have taken but she still doesn't like how Jane is mad at us and wants me to apologize. I'm not sure I want to after learning Jane and her husband were using us for free babysitting and a free trip but I feel like I should just to keep the peace. Am I the asshole for changing our trip destination last minute and leaving Jane and her family to fend for themselves? Not the asshole. I laughed my butt off when I read you switched back to the romantic vacation good for you and your bride of 40 years. Your daughter still are entitled to ours. I glad the truth came out that they wanted you to be child care for their vacation. I just can't believe the nerve of some people. Congratulations on your 40th you deserved the holiday of your dreams, not your entitled child's dream your nightmare. Not the asshole. She tried to turn your romantic anniversary getaway into their free romantic getaway plus free babysitters. She can go think about what kind of crappy behavior that was. Nice move. Nata and hear what you tell your daughter sweetheart I'm so sorry that you barged in on my and your mother's anniversary trip and guilt us into paying for you and your husband and kids to come along for free and I'm sorry that instead of you forcing us to babysit your kids on the vacation the I paid for you had to actually be a parent while your mother and I enjoyed our anniversary together alone like was originally planned. I'm just so sorry you're upset that you got a free vacation. End apology. ESH. Yes, you should have been firm initially, but you caved in. So then sneaking around and changing all the plans without telling your daughter or even asking your wife was absurd. Now everyone's angry and upset. Not the asshole honestly, it sounds like you dodged a last minute bullet, especially with it seeming as though their plan was to have y'all watch their kids. Very proud of you for that decision and ultimately choosing your happiness. 
Your daughter is grown and hopefully they make it to their 40th to get the same trip. Yes h yes, your kid sticks for obvious reasons. But dear lord, just say no the last minute switching was what made you an R. That's so childish. Just say no up front. Not the asshole she made her reasons for wanting to go with you perfectly clear. Changing without telling her might seem harsh but I happily admit I laughed when I read it good for you. Not the asshole. The only apology Jane would get from me would be along the lines of I'm sorry that you weren't able to use me for free babysitting after ruining my trip. They expected you to spend your anniversary being babysitters for their kids while they enjoyed the holiday you paid for. That was not going to be a holiday for you, merely babysitting at a different location than normal. You were right to change your destination to the original one last minute, they should never have invited themselves to your holiday in the first place. If you had told them about the change before going, they would have soured the holiday before it began with their complaining and sense of entitlement. Not the asshole. Not the asshole at all. Jane basically tried to sabotage your anniversary. You guys have spoiled her rotten by succumbing to all her requests. Just ignore her and I bet she'll pop up at your house when she needs a free babysitter. Not the asshole, although you should have just put your foot down in the beginning. You should have said we are going on a romantic vacation, just the two of us, for our milestone 40th anniversary. Not the asshole at all. Sorry, but Jane is entitled and spoiled. She didn't want a family vacation she wanted free babysitting and the idea she would take advantage of your wife on a milestone anniversary trip makes her the R. Enjoyed the quiet she'll be back when she needs something. Congratulations on your 40th. Edit words. So you paid for their trip and for their kids plane tickets, and they wanted you to babysit on your 40th anniversary trip? There are some AHs here, but it's not you or your wife. Your daughter is a huge one and totally tried to take advantage of you. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. You didn't do anything wrong. Your daughter was definitely planning to use you for free babysitting services on your anniversary. Not the asshole. Wow. Lining you guys up to watch their children on your vacation, the vacation that you paid for. No, I would not apologize because there is nothing to apologize for. What she and her hair-brained husband did was overstepping boundaries and immature. You should have never paid for them to go with you. Not the asshole. And you sure raised a selfish daughter who married an R. They could care less about your anniversary, they just wanted built-in babysitters. Let them be and know you are not the asshole but the two of them certainly are. Not the asshole. But and I mean this in the kindest tone that I know you can't hear through text you need to practice the word no. That's it. Just, sparkles, no, sparkles, and then move along. You even still paid the large expenses of their vacation that no one was offering? For God's sake. The entitlement is disgusting. Not the asshole, your daughter and son-in-law are very selfish for trying to hijack your special time together.